Hello everyone, as you know, I am Paul, your eHobby guy, and in today's video, we are going to take a basic Wi-Fi enabled switch, a Sonoff, and we're going to encase it in a weatherproof housing so that it can be used in outdoor applications such as Christmas lights or anything else outside that you'd like to put on a timer or automatically or remotely switch on and off. I am going to go through everything step by step so stick around and let's jump right in. First I'll go through all of the parts needed. Of course we're going to begin with just this basic Sonoff switch. It's a Wi-Fi enabled switch. Here I have a GFI ground fault. Since this is going to be outside, I um, just want to be a little safer and go with the ground fault circuit interrupt GFCI outlet. Next we just have a single gang outdoor box. This I got from Home Depot. So this we're going to work with. We're going to get the Sonoff switch into this. And of course this outlet will be mounted here. Next is the main power cord. Of course we just have our live neutral and ground wire here. This is something that I just grabbed from something that was being thrown away, an old TV or something like that. But you can buy this exactly as is from any hardware store. This is a half inch MPT power cord grip. And let me just take this apart really quickly. So here there's a, a little rubber grommet and as you can see it's tapered here. This surface in here is also tapered and so it sits here like this and this little nut slips over both. We would slip the cord right through the middle and when you tighten down on this it squeezes the rubber around this cord and will make it watertight. So this is going to fit right here and provide a watertight fit for the cord to get through into the box. And finally this is just an outdoor cover where we can see basically what's plugged in there it's providing a little room the plugs that i'm using are just outdoor led christmas lights and so i don't need too much space in here so this should work out just fine we'll get this power cord mounted onto this power grip first and to get this on of course we get this nut facing that way threads facing out that way and then this little washer, it's a tapered washer. And now we get this through here. Just like this. Now that this is on, just like that, in this order, we can put this on here. And these two will get tightened. There it is. I'll tighten it a little tighter with some wrenches. Here I just have a just pull wrench, a couple of wrenches, get this tightened down nice and tight. That should do the trick. Now this has really got a lot of strain relief and it's completely sealed here from the elements. Next let's bring in this guy here. I'll leave the part number in the description down below for this if you're looking for it. Okay. This green screw, we're going to get this ground wire attached to this green screw here underneath that. I'm going to strip these a bit longer. Now is definitely a very good time to bring up the safety factor here. We are dealing with here the US 110. This is very dangerous. Please do not mess with this if you are not very familiar with it. Have an electrician do this for you. It is dangerous. It can kill you. And so it'll take extreme, extreme care. Continuing on, I'm just going to feed these through here and twist the box on tightly. There we go. And again, I'm just going to finish by tightening this with my wrench. That's perfectly flush right there. So again, this is very tightly held in there. These other two holes are not going to be used, and it did come with two plugs. So we'll get the plugs in. Now before we go any further, I'm going to tin this, stop it from splaying out underneath this screw. So let's get uh, my soldering iron powered up. Looking good. Okay. 
that's it so let's get this in here I'm gonna hook hook this around there we go there we go that is held in there very very tightly so I'm comfortable with that ground connection. Now here we have black is live, white neutral. I'll just tin these as well. I'm probably gonna have to cut these down to size, we'll see. Now this is going to go into the Sonoff and out of the Sonoff, we're gonna bring that into the outlet. Let's get the Sonoff ready. So here is the Sonoff on open, Sonoff basic. And if you're not familiar with this, there are tons of videos on wiring, registering, and getting these things onto your Wi-Fi network. So I'm not gonna bore you with that. I'm just gonna quickly point out, here it says neutral, live, and input right here, output on this side. This is gonna get the 120 from the main. It's gonna go right in here. Now these are small terminals, so I'll cut these back very short so that there's no chance of them touching so close to each other on the input side. Now you can see, nice and short, <laughs> guess what because of this threaded uh, input port here on both ends there's not enough room for the sun off look uh, it's too funny so I may have to take it out and tape it up I think that's what's gonna happen neutral here live here of course this is the relay that's switching the 120 and looking through here you can see the heavy solder lines are for uh, passing the high powered through you know from this end to the other end which is being switched here's the button on the sawn off so we'll leave that there it's gonna have to be used and now we need wires coming out of here and into our gfi outlet so let's open the gfi i did just want to check that everything will fit and so i place the the sawn off down here and of course this is a pretty bulky gfi and it does fit it's fully down and flush so i will get my live which uh, here this is the live this is the neutral one other thing very important ground wire from here indicated obviously by this green screw down to underneath this so that everything is grounded back uh, through the cable and back to my house so i just brought the sawn off housing uh, here just double check Input side is over here, output side is here, neutral is the top terminal there. White is neutral, I'm going to put that into the top terminal. I just pushed it in, I still have to tighten it down here. Now this will have to be taped up to insulate it from everything, of course, well taped up and hot. I think that's a bit long, let's trim it down a little bit the live wire here now before i wrap this whole thing up we'll give it some power and get the sun off active i will wrap this though since we're uh, we've got some you know high voltage here so i'm going to wrap this in tape and we'll get back okay i came across a problem here is the stem from the button it goes right in here and so it's broken when I was trying to fit it, I'm assuming I hit off the stem and broke it off. So I'm going to have to replace this with a push button. So that's something to be careful of. Now I do have plenty of these push buttons. Here's one with a much lower button. Button is very low profile on this. If I ever did have to go back, I do have long stemmed as well. So I do have that choice. So I am going to uh, get this switch off and replace it with a brand new one and this way we can move forward and get past this little blunder of mine so that's something we should be really careful about when you are going to be housing these sawn offs here is the new switch here's the old broken switch so I got that off the new switch is a through hole type and it's as crooked as can be but I got it on there it's on there pretty well you can hear the clicking of the button and now of course the big test so just to get ourselves tested here I, I got the back of this taped up and I'm gonna get this plugged in let me zoom back a little bit and let's get it plugged in so we can see a flashing green here that means it's got power it's not registered now to get this in enrollment mode, we're going to press and hold the button, and of course this is the big test. It does look like I do have good connections here, but I'm going to press and hold for 5 seconds. And we should see it 
yes, the flashing pattern here has changed. Three flashes means it's in enrollment mode. So it does look like I've successfully paired it. Again, there's a lot of videos on pairing of the Son of Basic. Let's get in. I called it Christmas 4. So I think you might have heard the click from the relay. It's in the on state now, so we got live. And I can hit it off. I heard the click again. I hope you heard it. I have confirmed this is all good. We're going to wrap it up really well and get this all packed down packaged up so we can get into use. So let's get this guy open here. We're powered down here just to be safe. Let's just uh, scrape, break this open. You can swivel from the side or from the top. That's pretty good. Get this mounted here on the inner hole and the cover will mount into these outer holes. So let's get the inner hole started. So now this is securely mounted. This is going to be hanging down like this, so I'm going to want it hinged at the top and flip upwards. So this is the right orientation. Drop that in there. And let's get my flathead. We'll get this screwed into place. So yes, yeah, so you just want to tighten these uh, snugly down, not too tight, because we can crack this plastic. So it is a very tough plastic. We just want to squeeze this gasket tightly all the way around. This should just click into place. There we go. And that's it. Now I'm going to plug this back in. And I just want to see if I can hear that very faint click. Now that it's sealed up, it may not be as easy. I can see the flashing green down there. Yes, I think it's showing up on camera. It's in the off state. Let's uh, turn it on. I heard the click and I do have this light here. We're good to go. All right, I'm excited about my new uh, outdoor enclosure. Wi-Fi enabled switch for my outside Christmas lights. Let's put them in action. Okay, here are the lights on. You're probably not gonna see the contrast on this. I'm gonna press the center button on my screen here. Turn them off and back on, off, and back on. And so you can see that this Sonoff works quite well. I have it on a schedule to come on as it's getting dark and to turn it off at 1 a.m. It's exactly what I wanted. It's in a waterproof housing. Let's move on. Well, I can't thank you enough for taking the time to hang out with me today. Remember, hit that subscribe button, like this video, follow me on social media. Until next time, bye for now.